Alrighty folks, how is it going? Coming in your ears and stimulating your optical nerves from the shed again with another how-to. Uh, this is the one I haven't been looking forward to, which is changing your uh, fuel filters on the bike, uh, especially the in-tank ones. And the in-tank filters aren't a serviceable item. Um, they are more of a fix when they break uh, type thing. And they are prone to causing problems on the 701 and more so the 690, especially the older ones because they're getting on a bit now, um, which can lead to either the uh, one of the fuel filters cracking and losing fuel pressure uh, or just the fuel pump failing because it's full of shit. So the fuel filters on this bike, uh, one is the little inline fuel filter which goes in here, the quick uh, Quick release thingy, yeah, the quick disconnect jobby. And you've got this little one, which goes on the fuel pump, just to stop picking up any crap before it hits the filter, uh, the, the pump. And then this uh, inline one, which is after the fuel pump. Um, and you've got two options uh, if you want to change your fuel filters, or especially this one anyway. Uh, you can replace it with another one of these, uh, and leave it in the tank uh, or you can get rid of it altogether and fit an external um, fuel filter like one that you can either well just change like this or that you can take apart clean and put back together again um, if you go for that option you just need to cut into the fuel pipe and uh, you know, basically fit that in line where this one pretty much would have been anyway uh, so to get started, um, it's a good idea to have as little fuel in the bike as possible. Not like me and leave it with half a tank, because I'm a muppet. Um, so yeah, either run your fuel as low as you dare to go, um, or drain it. I've used a, an electric siphon pump. And if you are fitting one of these again, you'll need some of these uh, fancy single ear clip things. Uh, Hose clamps. Uh, you might get away with stainless hose clamps, but these are for like fuel injection uh, hose pipes because they, they need a bit of pressure on them. And some fancy pliers. And these squeeze the uh, hose clips together. Um, if you don't have these, you might get away with a set of mole grips. They kind of look the same. It just doesn't have this bit in the middle that pushes up and keeps a bit of pressure on the clamp. So, work you need to do before you start is remove the exhaust can. You don't need to remove the header pipe. Uh, remove the back panels, which I've got off the bike anyway. I don't think you need to remove the front ones. And you shouldn't need to remove the airbox. Yeah, you might have some cable ties on the clutch side of the bike um, that holds the, a bit of rubber pipe on. I think that's about it. Just make sure nothing's going to catch. Uh, when you're lifting the fuel tank. Uh, you'll also need like either a ratchet strap or some rope, just something to hold the tank up, uh, wrap it around the handlebars, uh, just to keep it up while you're working on it. Oh yeah, and a bucket to catch any fuel. Uh, I've got a, the kitchen basin, which is full of oil anyway. So, let's crack on. So, once you've got all your panels off, uh, you'll need to remove the two screws uh, at the bottom of the tank. This one's a T45, the one on the other side is a T40 or I don't know, an 8 or a 10 mil bit. To remove them you'll need to kind of take the pressure off the bolts as you take the bolts out and then the tank should just flap about, remove them and then flip it up and secure it in place with a strap of some sort. No, in true Teddy Moto fashion of fucking things up so you don't have to, uh, come into a problem with the first, second bolt. So you'll remove the lower bolt, uh, which is the T45, um, and then when you come to remove the other side, you'll find it'll just spin. Um, in the bottom of the tank, there's just a threaded rod, uh, or a threaded sleeve, that two bolts go into. Uh, if you remove one, then the sleeve just spins uh, when you've got another bolt. Uh, but you can stick uh, an Allen key in the left side of the bike. Um, it's a 5 mil. Uh, Allen key. It needs to be quite a long one, uh, so trusty bicycle set 
of uh, alloy keys uh, and then that will allow you to remove the bolt on the clutch side. Once you've got that bolt out you can then hold the tank up as you remove the allen key and then you can flip it over. As you lift the tank up uh, you want to watch the cables. The um, ABS sensor for the rear wheel, uh, that cable's tight so you want to unclip it from the little black plastic clips uh, that follow the rear brake hose and uh, yeah just watch for any wires pulling. Uh, it's a little bit tight, uh, you won't get it up all the way um, I think there's a couple of earth straps and so on that are stopping it from going all the way but you don't need it all the way over. So once you've got the tank up, two bolts here as rip that cover off, uh, the splash guard, to then get access to the fuel pump just under there. So once you've got the splash guard off, uh, give it a good clean in there, uh, get the years of dirt and grime that have built up behind it, and also make sure that the, uh, the fuel pump plate is nice and clean as well. Uh, I apologise if the video gets dark from here, it's uh, not the best lighting. Four T30s. So I'll get them out and just wait for it to gush. That's what she said! <laughs> okay, so a kitchen basin fits quite nicely between the frame and your back wheel. There you go. Oh yes, we've got a gusher. Oh man, that's perfectly good fuel just going to waste. Do you need a pee? And once you've got that plate unscrewed, there is a gasket sitting behind it. Just watch that doesn't come away. And then you slide the fuel pump out. Now, there's a lot of wires in here and fuel pipe and so on. Only pull out as much as you need because it'll be an absolute twat to get it back in without kinking it. So, one of the uh, fuel filters is in here. Oop, just tip that up. Um, yeah, so it's the pre, pre-pump pre filter. Uh, to get at it, there's two clips on either side. Press them in, press them in a bit more. There we go. Okay, so the manual just says pull. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Don't ask. There we go. That little one just pops off, so that should just snap on. Get on your turd. There we go. That's a new one on. Yeah, just lube it up with a bit of petrol, be fine. That's it. And then pull some of this pipe work out. Why do you fight me? go, that's that. So, like I said, only pull out as much as you need, which is about that much. Now, to remove these uh, single ear clamps, um, you might need a special tool, but just use some pliers, cut it right in the top of there, and give it some brute force. Yes. Okay, and then, yeah, just spread the clip a bit. Which... And then slide that pipe off the uh, fuel filter. Oh, I swear, everything on this bike fights me. So I'm just sticking a screwdriver in to try and break the seal around the filter. Whilst pulling on the pipe as well. It might come off now. There we go. And then she's going to gush with fuel. So, once you've got one side off, repeat on the other side. So, don't. So, you can spin it and it comes off. There. There she blows. When you take the filter off, you might see that it's um, 
deeply discolored compared to the new one and then it's all black if you crack it open is the inside of your in tank filter now it's not just the camera being dark it is that black uh, they go that color because of the carbon brushes inside the fuel pump they will very quickly go that color and that's just normal another common failure with these pump uh, filters is this split around the top here um, and that's how you lose your fuel pressure because it's just pumping it back into the tank um, so yeah another reason to either replace it uh, or just upgrade it with an external one so scop that in the bin and get your new bits slide your new single eared uh, hose clip on like so and that's got a directional thingy so it goes in the direction of flow so the top goes in there slide that in that's it and then take your fancy pliers your oat ticker, oat kit something I can't say the name um, and just squeeze the clip at the top to make the seal there we go Whee! oh she squirted everywhere stick your new doofer ring thingy on the pipe and slot the pipe on Let's fire it in the middle and take the doofer fancy, uh, fancy pliers and give them a squeeze so that's a new one fitted there with the two new single ear clamps kind of see how much I've squeezed it there um, yeah that's it so just slot it back in and kind of wiggle it a bit as you put the cables back in be careful not to kink them otherwise you will cause problems and then before you fire it all back together there's a seal around the base of it just give it a good clean make sure there's no dirt and shit on it uh, and then fire it back together so with our filter housing clean and just slot it back together and you've got these two bits here there uh, and they'll just clip into place once you've got the housing back on do, do, do. the legs stick out a bit so let's fire them in like that I should go click it's clicked into place there and on the other side so let's slot her back in don't think I've kinked the pipes nope so that should be it slot it in yep. just pull in and prod in make sure I haven't kinked them out no, we're all good so yeah just fire it back together and when you're putting the bolts back in don't go crazy with them be nice and careful because they're brass inserts and they are prone to stripping or coming loose and then you can't torque them up uh, it should only be about six newton meters but I'll put the correct figure on the screen Let's leave it loose a bit no 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 Christ I don't want petrol everywhere here we go. So that says mountain tighten screws. Four newton meters. Skidoosh. Then just put some petrol in and hope it doesn't leak. Ugh, snotty beak. <laughs> Once you've got the filter housing torqued back up, uh, stick the splash guard back on, which I haven't done. And da da da. And yeah, lower your tank in, stick the other side, uh, bolt in first the clutch side. Um, just remember to use a 5mm uh, Allen key bit to go through here, just to stop that sleeve from sliding. And torque that side up and then 
do, 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 do whatever with this one, put this one in. Uh, I'm just leaving mine loose because I still need to put the header pipe and stuff on. Uh, but these bottom bolts are 25 newton meters, I think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, it wasn't as hard a task as I thought it would be. Uh, it's just a bit fiddly, um, as my jobs always are. Um, yeah, piece of piss. The fuel filters are pretty cheap. Um, oh yeah, remember to do the other fuel filter. Wherever the fuck I've put that. Meh. Um, it goes in the quick disconnect thingy. The, the bit that goes into there, um, it goes in there. That's the last filter before the injector. So, if you've found this video slightly useful, um, hit like, subscribe, uh, tickle that bell end icon for notifications. Um, I've got 750 subscribers now. Uh, a lot of my views aren't from subscribers. Uh, so yeah, if you like this video, please smash that uh, subscribe button. It'd be a great help on my way to a thousand subscribers, which uh, I never thought I'd get just doing this as a hobby. It's not even a hobby, I just do it for the crack. Is that a hobby? Might be. Yeah, um, I keep looking at my bike, thinking it's going to speak to me. I mean, it is two in the morning. <laughs> oh, that hurt! Um, see, I'm doing it again. Yeah, thanks for watching. Cheers!